Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I'm Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to extract data from one table and put it in another table using Power Query. So here I have this data and I have these items printer, whiteboard, office chair, diary, projector here and what I want to do is allow the user to select an item from the drop down and then based on the selection extract the relevant records here in this area or you can have it in the new worksheet. So to do that I first need a list of these items. Now you can easily create a list of uh, these items if you have it anywhere you can use that or you can use Power Query to do that. So in this case I would go to data from table range and here I would select this one remove every other column and remove the duplicates from here so that it gives me a list of unique items here and now I would come here close and load to and I would load it in a new worksheet so when I click OK it inserts a new sheet here and I have these items here now to create a drop down using it I can come here and I can call this select an item and I can create a drop down so I would go to data data validation here I would select list and I would go back and select these and now when I click OK it will give me a list of these items. Now please note that this is not a list which would automatically be accommodated here if the data expands. So in case tomorrow you have a new item here you would have to manually adjust the drop down list. Another way of doing this is you can use a dynamic named range so that whenever there is new data here the dynamic named range it can be created using an offset function or an index function so that it will automatically expand and uh, accommodate those new items and add it in the drop down. Now I can select anything in here I can select an office chair and I want the data from this uh, data set for office chair to get extracted here. So the first thing I would do is I would convert this into an excel table so I would go to insert table my table has headers and it's here let's call this table select item and now I would go into Power Query so I would open this table this small table in Power Query so I would go to from table range and what I want is for, I want to create some mechanism where Power Query gives me the value that is selected here so if this is office chair I want Power Query to give me this value if this is printer I want Power Query to give me this value so to do that I would select this cell here right click and go to drill down and when I click on drill down it does exactly that it gives me a text value which is nothing but what is there in this cell and now I can close and load this so I would come here to file close and load to and I would create a connection and when I click OK you can see it creates a connection with the name select item and you can see it's ABC here which means that it is going to return a text value it's not going to return a table it's not going to return anything else just a text value now I would use this to filter my records so now let me close this I would come here and now I would go to data from table range and in this case I would come here if you want to do any transformation you can do this so I would select the data column here date column here go to transform and I would select date as the data type so this is the date type I didn't want time here if you want to do any other thing you can do that and you want to filter this so let me expand this and you want to filter this column based on any item so in this case let me do this with printer now what I've done in this case is I have created this data set and I have filtered this based on any one item but if I go back into the M code you can see that the M code hard codes this value printer when it's filtering the data so it has the source which is the workbook then it changes the type the date type that we did and the third step is filtered rows where it filters it based on printer but what I want is I want it to give me the filtering based on what I have selected in the workbook and that I can do by using the connection we created which was select 
item and make sure you use the exact name of the connection if you don't remember it you'll have to go back and check so that this is exactly the same else it will give you an error and now when i click on done see what happens it gives me a filter for office chair why because here i have office chair selected now i can simply load this data in excel so i would come here close and load to and i would say i want this data in the existing worksheet somewhere let's say here and now when i click ok it gives me the data for office chair but see what happens when i come here and i update this to projector and i refresh this it gives me the data for projector if i come here and i change this to whiteboard and refresh this it will give me the data for whiteboard so with power query what we have done is we created a connection that would return the value in this cell and then we used this connection to filter this data here that's it in this video i hope you found this useful thank you and have a nice day